think through people, so like my friends, people I'm around, um, people I meet, strangers, um, just seeing people chasing after what it is that they want to do. So when people are passionate about something and take initiative to kind of just go and do it, I think that excites me. Um, and just also kind of seeing growth, so knowing that I've been in a place, um, you know, made mistakes, learned from it, and that I'm developing and growing through it. Um, and I think, yeah, that, that journey is exciting. It's like fuel, it keeps you going. I think when you take a risk and, I don't know, it's almost like, you know, you get like an adrenaline rush from doing something. But it's like it's like you and people go on a roller coaster and it's like, oh, I'm scared to do it. But then you're on it and you're loving it kind of thing. And you want to go again. It's kind of like that. It's like when you take a risk, it's kind of like, oh, it could go really wrong. It could go really right. And a lot of time it will go wrong. But then when it when you do do it and it, you do get it right, I don't think there's anything that compares to that. Like, like you just... And also, I think also having people support you can also be something that keeps you going, but at the same time, not having many people that support you can also be a driving force to want you to like, want to prove people wrong even more, if that makes sense. Um, and also prove something to yourself that you can be more than what it is people kind of set for you. Because I think people always tend to set a limit on, if someone's doing something really well, they'll kind of be like, you know, stick to that, that's what you do well. But I think if there's anything you want to do, you could just keep doing it. We all have like our own insecurities. So I think a lot of people know that I'm quite a creative person and I like to create things, I like to make things, I like to draw, I like to listen to music, I like to be around other people who share those interests. But at the same time, I think there's always another side to people where at times I really, really doubt myself. So someone could look at a piece of work and be like, oh, that's really, really good, that's amazing, you're gonna go really far. But I could have a day where I feel like, oh my God, what am I doing? Like, I need to go and make money. Like, even stuff like, studying and saying okay I want to do fashion and I want to design at the same time I still work in retail and sometimes it's like subconsciously we kind of limit ourselves by having backup plans if that makes sense and I think we all do it because all of us have a part of us that feels that okay we're gonna fail but I don't know I think in that sense I think people think I'm a lot more confident than I actually am if that makes sense and I think in my mind, I do believe that, you know, I can get here, I am going to be here and I was put on this earth to be someone and something great. But I do doubt myself a lot as well, just because, you know, I always, the way I see it, I think that there's always someone who does what you do better than you, but there's no one who can do it the same way you do it, if that makes sense. Um, so I think that's what I always have to kind of remind myself of and just kind of keep growing. Um, but yeah, I think people will always see kind of the success side of when you're doing things and they go well. And no one necessarily knows the battles you go through as well as you do. Um, so yeah, I would say sometimes people probably consider me slightly different to what my reality is. Honestly, I think I am quite an introvert in the sense that I'm very limited with what it is I share with people. So it's not necessarily that I try and put on a different kind of persona I think a lot of people who are around me know in a sense know who I am but it's only to an extent um, and I think it's kind of like all my battles or stuff that I kind of go through or um, just kind of just behind the scenes stuff so when you're kind of investing in yourself people never really see that so people will probably see when you know I've said oh, okay I've got into somewhere that I really wanted to go or um, I've got a job that I've really wanted people see all that but then they don't see the 10 other jobs I applied for that I got rejected from or um yeah so and it's kind of like because you don't say it to people people just kind of probably assume that they know you and they'll probably think oh you're one of those people that things go well you get things all the time you're really hard working but sometimes I'm really lazy and <laughs> you know um I think I probably have about two or three people who probably know me quite really well um and even then, it's it's never going to be the same as how I know me, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm quite a social person, but I am quite guarded with myself. I, I believe that most of, like, the things I've got or things that have happened for me have been through success. Mm. Um, like, blessings. Like, kind of, like, I believe that a lot of the things I get have been blessings. And so, a lot of the time when I look at things at face value, it's almost like a lot of the odds are against you. 
So I think it's important that, yes, you have a sense of reality in terms of knowing when to let go of something or learning when something doesn't better you as a person. But I always feel that if you do something and it genuinely makes you happy and you genuinely love it and it genuinely grows you as a person, then... I don't think that there is a need to look at it from the perspective of, you know, oh, it's like an unrealistic dream. Because the whole point, I think, is that dreams are unrealistic until you start making them your reality. And it's like, you know, when people talk about, like, footballer stories or a lot of musician stories and you hear what a lot of people have come from. It's like, in that time and space and place, their reality wasn't success. Their reality wasn't... Um, someone who inspires other people their reality wasn't someone who could make money from what they enjoyed a lot of them weren't even good at what it is that they're amazing at now and I think that it's important to kind of have a tunnel vision when you have a dream that other people can't see because people can't see your vision people can't see what it is you're trying to do through your eyes and so a lot of people will be looking at it in the context of what's going on around you or you know whether realistically for someone whether it's of your race your sexuality your background whatever um for some people you may be that anomaly but i think it just takes one person to change what is possible um so yeah i don't really i mean i'm human so i go through the emotions you know um, of everything and you know there are times where I think okay I've got to do this like going back to the whole working in retail thing there are times where I think you know maybe I should work full time for a bit and just make money and, but at the same time it's like trying to remember what the, the plan is I'd say yeah.